Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'll be showing you how to install the x-ray mod for Minecraft. So there'll be one file you'll need and that is the x-ray mod. You can find that on their forum page. Make sure you're installing the x-ray mod by Ambient Occlusion, at least that's the one I'll be using in this video. So make sure you head on over to their forum page and um, you know install it from here so we have the same files and everything. Alright, so basically go to this forum page and there is an auto installer if you want to use it. However, I'm going to install it manually for those of you who can't run the installer or who just you know want to install it manually. So anyways, so you want to go to the second download button right here and it says and for those who just want the class files and we're going to go ahead and click it. Alright, this will take you on over to AdFly. If you have any problems with AdFly, try exiting out of this and re-clicking the link or refreshing it. And if you're having a loop on the countdown, it's just going 54321, 54321. Make sure you disable AdBlock when you go through AdFly. All right, so go ahead and click the Skip Ad button now, and I'll go ahead and download the X-Ray mod for you. All right, so after you have it downloaded, we're going to want to head on over to our search bar and type in percent app data percent. All right, and hit Enter. All right, this will take us on over to our roaming folder. Uh, once you're in your roaming folder, you wanna head on over to your .minecraft folder and go ahead and double click our .minecraft folder. There we go. All right, so head on over to your versions folder now and double click your versions folder. All right, so now we're gonna to wanna to create a new folder in tab in here. So either go to the new folder up, you know, tab up here or just right click, go to new and go to folder. And we're going to name this folder X-Ray. All right, so once we have the folder called X-Ray, we're gonna to wanna to go into the folder that the mod is currently in, which is 1.7.2. So go on over to that folder and highlight the two files in that folder and copy them. All right, so go back one. All right, now go back to your X-Ray folder. So go to X-Ray and paste those two folders in. All right, so you can either leave them highlighted or re-highlight them right click and go to rename and we're going to want to rename them what we named the folder so we named them x-ray all right then go ahead and click off and it'll rename both of them if the bottom file says x-ray.json that is fine and you can go ahead and leave that and now we're going to want to access the json file so make sure you click on the json file right click go to open with and choose notepad all right i already have it set as notepad so i'm just going to go ahead and double click it all right so you want to go right next to the id here all right, and it may be near the bottom as well if it's not by the top. So again, if it's if the 1.7.2 is not at the top here, it is at the bottom. So you may have to scroll through and find it. All right, so we're going to want to change the 1.7.2 to X-ray. All right, and once we do that, we're going to want to go to File and Save. Make sure we save that. All right, so now we're going to want to enter the X-ray.jar now, which is the executable jar file. Right-click that, go to Open With, and choose WinRAR Archiver or 7-Zip or something like that. If you don't have either one of those, I'll leave a link to WinRAR in the description. You just go ahead and download and install the one for your operating system. All right, so now that we're in X-ray.jar, we're going to want to go to meta-inf. Right-click, go to Delete Files, and hit Yes. So make sure you delete this meta-inf folder. If you don't, your Minecraft will crash when you start it up. All right, so now that we have that, we're gonna to want to go to the X-Ray mod now. Make sure you open with something like WinRAR or 7-Zip. All right, so there'll be a couple files in here. You just wanna highlight all the files they have in here and drag them into the X-Ray.jar. Click OK, and there you go. That is how you install the X-Ray mod. We're not completely done yet. We're gonna to wanna to go ahead and load up Minecraft. We have one more thing, thing to do. All right, after the Minecraft Forge launcher is up, we're gonna to wanna to go to new profile in the bottom left corner there. We're gonna to wanna to name the profile X-Ray and then go to use version. All right, you may have to scroll up to the top to find this. All right, so make sure you scroll in and look for this. Go to release X-Ray. All right, click release X-Ray, go to save profile. And then at our profile here, make sure you change it to X-Ray and we can go ahead and click play and it should load up fine. There we go. And let's go ahead to a world here just to show you guys that, you know, it works. All right, we have the coordinates in the top left corner there. And if we press X, it'll go ahead and show the world. All right, and that view looks pretty cool. So anyways, let's show you that it does work. If this has helped you, make sure you leave a link rating on the video to kind of help get noticed. If you want to leave a comment, go ahead and leave a comment as well. I'll try to get back to you. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, just, you know, as like a thanks, go ahead. I don't necessarily send these 
to sub boxes just because they're pretty boring but um what you are able to do then if you have another minecraft mod that you need help installing you can then find my channel really easily and then you know look through the video see if i have made a video on it so anyways hopefully this helped and thanks for watching